He is so pro-U.S., the French call him Sarko the American. When I first met him for a quick, impromptu conversation on his presidential airplane, he was in a playful mood, grabbing my notes, <laughs> which he said would put us on an equal footing. But he refused to wear a microphone, which made the audio difficult. They call you Sarko the American. Why? Because I love America. I want to be friend of America. But the name? I am proud of his nickname. J'aime la musique américaine. You like our music? No, oh, Elvis Presley, of course. This story will introduce you to the American people. What do you most want them to know about you? I want the Americans to know that they can count on us. At the same time, we want to be free to disagree. France's new president has a habit of letting his anger loose, as we found out as we were setting up for an interview at the Elysee Palace. He started berating his press secretary, calling him an imbecile and worse for arranging an interview he clearly didn't want to do on a busy day. He is stupid. But, but, sir, this is how you, this is this is what the pop, the American people are going to say. Okay. I don't have the time. I have a big job to do. I have a schedule. Don't. Very busy. Very okay. busy. Sir, I know you're angry. No, I'm, not I'm not angry. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my job. Don't worry. Okay. All right. All right. Um, you have said, I have always had to fight throughout my life. Nothing ever came easily for me. Nobody ever opened any doors. I got used to that. Now, is that the key to Monsieur Sarkozy? No, c'est pas, c'est pas ma clé. That's not the key just for me. It's the key for anybody. On a que ce qu'on va chercher. You only get what you're prepared to struggle for. Simplement en attendant. I was from a middle-class family. I had no connections. Nobody in my family had ever been in politics. I didn't simply become head of state by chance. I became it because I wanted to, and I paid the price for it. You have told the story of your father telling you that uh, because you didn't have a French name, you, you were never going to make it in France. You had to go to the United States to become successful. La preuve, qu est trompé. Est donc... Well, he was proven wrong, but that's what he thought. That a name like Sarkozy was a handicap. That's the reason why I like the U.S. You can be called Schwarzenegger and be governor of California. You can be called Madeleine Albright and be Secretary of State. Colin Powell or Condi Rice and succeed. That's a free country. That's a democratic country. A country that gives a chance to each and every one of its children. Determined to prove his Hungarian father wrong, Sarkozy went into politics. Even at 23, he was delivering passionate speeches against socialist policy. If you want to live holding your head up high, you have to live from what you earn, not off public assistance. People have tried to reform in the past. They've also had strikes. Why do you think you can overcome this when people haven't been able to in the past? I'm not afraid. But what if the strikes paralyze? city or paralyze the country. If there are strikes, I will tell the French people, look, it's up to you. Do we stop or do we go on? I say we go on. The day we interviewed him, Paris was buzzing with rumors that she had left him again. But ask him about it? How dare you? Since we've been here, it seems that every day we're hearing another story about your wife. What's going on? If I had something to say about Cecilia, I would certainly not do so here. But there's a great mystery. Everybody's asking. Even, even your press secretary was asked at the briefing today. No comment? He was quite right to make no comment and no comment. Thank you. Sarkozy decided the interview was over. And off he went, with the question about his wife left hanging. Two weeks later, the Elysee announced the Sarkozy's were divorced, just like that. A first for a French president. Ask him a question, and you could get a fight. 
as we did when we asked why he's on French television all the time. And the question is overexposure. Hey, Zoom. Zoom. And you, why did you insist so much that I appear on television? 60 minutes. Would 60 minutes be after me if I was of no interest? Touché. Touché. Coulé. Gotcha. <laughs>